Working like a scientist. Scientific inquiry. Research. Sometimes we cannot find the answer to a scientific question in a direct way, such as by doing investigation or by speaking to people. Instead, we can do research to find the information we are looking for by reading books, using the internet, or watching videos. These are secondary sources of information. We use this type of scientific inquiry to find out about new scientific discoveries or discoveries made in the past. For example, the discovery of magnetism. To find information to answer questions about different topics, such as which birds migrate to your country each year. Compare information from different sources and decide which answer is the best. For example, which foods contain different vitamins or how plants and animals are adapted to their environment. Fair testing. A fair test involves three types of variables. Firstly, the variable we change is called the independent variable. The variable we measure or observe that changes is called dependent variable. The variable we keep the same is called control variable. When we investigate which material muffles sound best, the control variable is the source of sound because we keep this the same. The independent variable is the muffling material because we change this from newspaper to bubble wrap to a blanket. The dependent variable is the sound volume we measure because this changes according to which muffling material we use. Observing over time in investigation, we often need to observe changes caused by the things we do. For example, what happens to water when we freeze it? The change of water when it freezes will take hours to observe. Another example is what happens when we mix sugar and water. We can see the change in a few minutes. Observing changes in nature might take longer. When we investigate what happens when seed germinates, it takes over days or weeks depending on the seed or the type of plant. We will need a whole year to observe the changes that happen as the seasons change. Identifying Identifying is a process of naming something. For example, an apple and an orange. We can name them because they have features we recognize. We can differentiate between an apple and an orange. Classifying. Classifying is organizing things into groups. For example, we classify objects, materials into groups by looking at the way it is similar or different. We can easily classify using series of yes or no questions. For example, does a flower have brightly colored petals? Does a flower have a scent? The answer to these questions will decide whether the flower is pollinated by insects or wind. Pattern Seeking Pattern seeking involves observing, recording, and analyzing data. The pattern we observe can help us identify the trends or relationship between one or more things. We often find patterns in nature. A pattern in a relationship between a seed size and the time it takes for a seed to germinate. A type of material a sound travels through test.